Make that big boss less special It ain't no game, but they say I'm Welcome to the second level So, we had a meeting today. We recorded, I played Astro Bot a little bit earlier, and uh, I decided, because we've I've had something planned for a little while, we just never, never had a chance to do it. So, I have here the Bomb Ghost Pepper Peanuts, which are about a million on the Scoville scale. Let me pull up so you guys can get reference to where that is. And Scoville, to those who don't know, the Scoville scale is basically the measure of hotness of something. It's like a heat index. It's a heat index. So, uh, let's see. A jalapeno is 3,500 Scoville. A habanero is 200,000 Scoville. Pure capsaicin is 15 million. And U.S. grade pepper spray is 2 million, so twice this. Yes. So you're going to eat half of pepper spray. The way that's going to work... Okay, it doesn't taste like pepper spray. It might. The way it's going to work is I have 10 questions, true, false, multiple choice, Every question you get wrong, you gotta eat one. Okay. Cool. I feel like I need tweezers or something. You know what I mean? I don't want to no, get all good. the dust on my you're fingers. Good. Don't. I will give you this warning: do not rub your eyes. Yeah, I know that. Do I'm not rub your not eyes. An amateur. Right? Um, you do. He's got drinks over here in case something goes down. You got what? Two cups of stuff. One. One of water. <laughs> one of milk. Do you know that milk's a myth? Ah, uh, bullshit. Uh, first, and, first uh, things first. I want to show you guys. I won't let Tom see, but just so you guys can see kind of what we're dealing with in here. What color are they? Red. I'll let you see when you grab one. You're gonna eat one at some point. No, I'm not. I'm gonna, I'm gonna ace this quiz. So, question number one. <coughs> Wish you done some research first. Or false. E.T. for the Atari 2600 sold more copies than Space Invaders. True or false? E True. True. E.T. sold 1.5 million copies while Space Invaders sold 1 million copies. You're one for one. <whistles> True or false? The Xbox was the first console to include internal memory for saving games. Not like RAM memory. Well, I guess RAM memory for saving games. PlayStation 2 was before the Xbox? Or was it after the Xbox? That's it was after. I think. You just helped me. Thank you. <laughs> I think. Uh, yeah, I think it was after too. I don't... Unless there's some like weird thing... Because the Dreamcast you had... I don't think you had on board for that. I'm going to say yes. Yeah. True. Say true? Eh. False. The Sega Saturn was the first gaming console to ship internal really? memory. Fucking had a Players Saturn could too. save about five to six games on the system's RAM, all 32 kilobytes of it. Wow. So here wow. you go. You gotta eat one. Alright. I'm gonna let you pick a peanut here. Again, do not rub your eyes. You can pick a whole peanut? You can pick whatever you want. Like, I, I will, okay. Yeah, I'll tell you it gets Acceptable. better. Acceptable. I'll tell you it gets better as you eat more. What? <laughs> you start getting dumb. Oh, great. <laughs> so, peanut number one. Give it time, it's got a, it's got a delay to it. Alright. You ready? Question number three. Question number three. True or false? In Assassin's Creed, every character you assassinate was a real person, and the date and location of their assassination is accurate. Um. Uh, I really want to say false here because I know that at some point you assassinate the Pope, and I'm pretty sure that never happened. <laughs> um. So I'm, I'm gonna say false. True. According to Assassin's Creed canon, you have assassinated every person on the actual date in their location. No one assassinated a pope ever. Was that a true? Was it a flashback or something? Because no, my it research, a, it was a boss. Like it was a, he was like the big bad at, at one point. My research said true. I feel like research is sketchy. How you feeling? You feeling it yet? Oh yeah, it burns. <laughs> it burns real good. They're actually quite tasty though. They are. They're, like it's addicting. Like it's like it hurts, but you want to eat more. Uh, question number four. Did you have any stomach problems after? <laughs> like pooping problems? No, pooping was not a problem afterwards. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> uh, multiple choice question here. The original Mortal Kombat was made by how many people? A. 
Fuck me. Four? I thought your quiz, quiz was B easy. Six, C12, or D16. Go for the things again. The original Mortal Kombat was made by how many people? A4, B6, D12, or C12, D16. I had no alphabet. <laughs> D12. D12. I just been listening to too much Eminem lately. These chicks don't even know the um, my band. One more time. A4. Don't do the A thing. Just say the 4, numbers. 6, 12, or 16 for the original Mortal Kombat. Four. That is correct. Yes. There's four people in the original Mortal Kombat. Yes. Chew or... Ed Boon. Mm-hmm. I don't know who they are. I do. I just know it's four. Okay, Ed Boon was one. I can one. smell them. Because it was, it was Noob Sagat was like this character that was a hidden character, and it was it was Ed Boon and whatever Sagat backwards is. Anyway, yeah. Carry on. True or false? Oh, yeah. It is not World of Warcraft. I feel <laughs> <laughs> yeah. World of Warcraft is the longest supported online game ever. True. False. Considered one of the greatest games of all time, Diablo, an action role-playing game, hack and slash classic, known for its groundbreaking online play. Using Battle.net and an online service, players join forces over the internet to play MMOs like World of Warcraft or direct, direct descendants of Diablo. After, 20 years after its debut, you can still play Diablo online. It's the longest supported online game ever. Really? Yep. I did not know that. Now, that's what this quiz is for. Did you ever see Grandma's Boy? Yes. Diablo's like the game that you yeah. don't know. You, you good? As good as I'm gonna be. I might have to break out the milk in a minute. I've been on the water for so far. Water's a bad idea, by the way. It just moves it around your mouth. Yeah, I noticed. <laughs> Number six. Let's try this milk. True or false? Oh, I'm trying to make it easy for you because it's one of the yeah, other you're not, you're great. The music from Super Mario Brothers 3 Underwater World is the same as the fairy music from Ocarina of Time. Say it again. I'm sorry. My head's fucked. <laughs> the music from Super Mario Bros. 3 Underwater World, or Water World, is the same as the fairy music from Ocarina of Time. True. It is true. They are the same, they are the same tune. <sighs> Here's an easy one for you. Number seven. In the arcade version of Donkey Kong, what was Mar... Sorry. The, in the arcade version of Donkey Kong, what was Mario, at the time known as Jumpman's, profession? A. Plumber. B. Window washer. C. Carpenter. D. Repairman. So what was Mario's profession in the original That's Donkey Kong? Or when he was known as Jumpman. Well, he wasn't a plumber. Plumber, window washer, carpenter, or repairman? It's a repairman. Wrong. He was a carpenter. I was going to say that, too. <laughs> repairman <laughs> seemed too vague. Yeah. God damn By it. the way, coming up with the fake answers is really hard. Have you never done a quiz before? I've never made one. I've made a whole trivia once. We have to do a... Fuck me. <laughs> you had to do a trivia night for my mom-in-law. You okay over there? Yeah. And we had to um, make like every round and then the questions were every round. The one of them was, are you smarter than a fifth grader? Mm -hmm. I literally just watched clips of are you smarter than a fifth grader and stole the questions. Yeah, I played that on uh, One lady Wii. from, uh, she was a teacher in Illinois school mm -hmm. system in Dupo came up to me and was like that that's the wrong answer that's the wrong thing i'm like lady i got this directly off the tv show i'm pretty sure their research is good she's like i'm just like illinois has some dumbass teachers ma'am i'm just saying you ready for number continue. eight continue number eight which celebrity did nintendo power stop accepting tetris high scores from a bill gates b john mcafee c marcus pearson or d steve wozniak I think that's how you say it. Pearson person, the guy who made Minecraft. Notch made Minecraft. But that's his real name, Marcus Person. Notch is a screen name. Notch is not his real name. It's not was. You had to research Notch's name. <laughs> no, I knew. I knew. I didn't know how to say his name. I knew that was his name. What was the other one? So Bill you had Gates? A, Bill Gates, B, John McAfee, D, Marcus Pearson, or or C, John, <laughs> Marcus Pearson, or D, Steve Wozniak. Um, why did, can I ask why they stopped accepting them? I mean, the the reason they stopped accepting them is because he kept breaking the high scores. They got tired of updating it. Notch. Eh. D, Steve Wozniak. Really? Mm-hmm. Look at Woz? Yeah. There you go. Have another one. <laughs> How many have I eaten there? Uh, six? Six million Scoville. Four, five, six? That's more than pepper spray. You only got two questions left, though. 
I feel like my heart's going to fail. <laughs> Question number nine. Of the nine developers that worked on GoldenEye for the N64, how many of them... Nine? Yeah, of the nine developers that worked on Golden, that should be a question. <laughs> that worked on Goldeneye for the N64. How many of them had never worked in video games before that game? A eight, B five, C two, or D zero? How many of them was it the first game they made? Five. Eh, eight. Eight of the nine were not previous. Had not worked on any previous game work. <sighs> yeah, one more Tom. We're gonna keep it the N64 theme. I'm gonna have to fuck you up with the quiz <laughs> at some point. And be like, what was fucking Suda 51's first solo indie death? These aren't that. Age? These aren't that obscure. No, no, but because they're multiple choice. Yeah. I just hit my time real bad in a weird spot. Thank God for this milk, by the way. True or false? Mm -hmm. Goldeneye 007 for N64 took up 12 megabytes of memory. False. Eh, true. 12 megabytes on that card. Fuck me. And that's it. So I think you got three right. See this? See this camera? How you feeling? Um. They're really tasty. <laughs> they are, but they hurt. <laughs> By the way, I just want to point out that I made this, this quiz. This is from September 6, 2018. That's when I made this quiz. We are recording this on October 23rd. I legit could much. just eat these. They're fucking me up, but... I uh, just wait till... Give it like 24 to 48 hours. Mm. And then you really... Can't wait. You have a machine gun going on. Um, <clears throat> no, um, I'm feeling all right. I uh, I eat a lot of hot stuff. Like, I put sriracha on everything. You, you, and that's not that when, hot. When I said... That, yeah, here. I'll pull up my Scoville scale and tell you what sriracha is. Probably nothing. Uh, I don't even see sriracha on yeah, here. Exactly. Exactly. It's not much, but... Yeah. But again, I eat it with... Pretty much everything. Like, I will pour it in mac and cheese, I'll put it on pizza, like... So, I, I like hot things. I've never really gone, like, crazy Scovilles like this. Sriracha is 2200. Think about this, though. 22 to 25, depending on is what it's it made doesn't... of. <sighs> My nose is... It tastes so... Don't they, they taste amazing now. They do taste great. But it's like, uh... I don't know, it's weird. It's like a continual burn. Well, if, But it's the... not, like... Like, sriracha to me is almost more painful because of the way that it burns, mm -hmm. whereas this is just, like, it's hot. Well, it's funny because at first, you know? at first people are like, because you, the first one I'm sure you, I'm, think you, I'm sure you had it where it's like, oh, this isn't bad, then all of a sudden it just, it mm -hmm. hits, you're like, ooh, okay, there it is. So, yeah, uh, fun you fact. for fun? I was going to. Uh, what I was, a handful at the end. For what, what I was going to say. Stupid quiz show. We're doing a 24-hour stream this March. One of the things, if you donate, you will make us eat. Potentially these. I might get some other stuff, too. Not just the ghost pepper peanuts. There's a couple other things I'm looking at. I saw some getting. reaper pepper crisps. This is this is hotter than reapers. This So the hottest... They're crisp, so they're going to be like yeah. crazy dash. This is the uh, this is the hottest natural pepper. Everything above this is man-made. Great. So ghost pepper is the hottest natural pepper. Because if you hear like... Uh, not, yeah, Carolina... No, maybe Carolina reaper is hotter. This is the hottest natural pepper. I don't know. Oh. I don't know my skull will that. I don't know mostly. anything about that. Um, but the thing is, if you donate, I think we haven't figured out the price, but during that stream, if you donate some money, we will be eating these while we play yeah, games. Yeah, we're going to do a lot of challenges. So, so it's going to be... This is going <clears> to <throat> suck. Combination. Sorry. Still struggling. Uh, we're going to do some crazy shit like this, but also um, maybe some other stuff too, like some exercise challenges or uh, what was the biggest one, I think. <laughs> You want some water? No, I'm good. <laughs> the biggest one was um, I forgot about if we can get up to a thousand dollars donated. No, a thousand dollars for one donation. For one donation? Mm -hmm. Come on. That's what how that's how that works. That doesn't sound. Uh huh. It was supposed to be if we get up to a thousand. No. Play Resident Evil in VR. No, it's Changing per donation. No, it's per donation. That's why we have the different levels. No, it's to being a thousand dollars to see you play Resident. I I would consider it. That's what I'm saying. You'd have to play the whole game though for a thousand dollars. And the DLC. <laughs> no. Whew, I can't breathe. But mm. well, it was some ghost pepper peanuts. That was Tom eating seven of them. I ate one, and I'm way more than seven. Well, that's true. So I failed seven questions, which is embarrassing. More embarrassing than eating the peanuts on the internet. But uh. But 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 uh. <laughs> yeah, my nose is super runny now. 
Also, there's like weird hairs flying around the place. I think that's my <laughs> mind playing tricks on me. You're just dog yeah. hair. When you go to have dinner tonight, you won't be able to taste anything. Mm. So, you're welcome. I already can't taste anything. Yeah. But that was the hot pepper quiz. I kind of want, like I said, we had this plan for a podcast, but we weren't recording really today. We we're kind of discussing the future and uh, decided to do it here because <sighs> you may play AstroBot, so I decided to make you hot peanuts. So I feel like there's a fair trade off, right? Yeah, it doesn't <laughs> seem like the fairest, does it? So, <laughs> you get to but, play this, an <laughs> excellent VR game that he's been looking forward to and really enjoyed. I got to die. So. I get one. But thank you guys so much for watching. And as always, welcome to the second level. Bye. It ain't no game, but they say I'm welcome to the second level.